when I finally got this old dude as good as I'm going to get it, I painted it a little bit and everything, and I put the steering back together. It's a little, still a little bit shaky, but I don't really, can't, I can't really crawl up under there and readjust that thing very good. I think that'll be all it needs. I didn't do a very good job painting it. I didn't paint the front at all. And uh, so and we got a new oil filter on it. A new filter for the hydraulic back, a new oil motor and the hydraulic rear end part. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. It's a little crude looking. I don't have an air filter for it. So let's see if it'll start. Started a little bit on the aggravating side or what? Start all right. Looks like I got a little leak down here of some kind or other. Might be this fuel pump. Uh, the line. That's where it's at. Well, as long as it don't leak too much. I fixed there. Attempted to fix the uh, gas tank back here. I soldered it first, and there was one little pinhole, and I stuck some. JB weld on that, so that's as good as going to get. I'm going to list it for sale on Marketplace and on uh, what do you call that? Craigslist. See how it goes. Well, thank you all for watching. Oh, one more thing I got going on here. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I've got another old Yamaha golf cart just like the one I had over here, and I'm hoping it was just a relay bad because it uh, wouldn't turn over at all. And uh, them guys that had it before, they had all kind of spaghetti under there with wiring. So I'm gonna try that. Maybe I'll get that uh, relay in tomorrow. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. It's, I got the top and everything for it and everything. So I don't know, it's probably a little bit better than the one I got. But it steers a lot, it turns a lot easier. All right, well, that's enough of this. We'll try to get this thing going shortly. The seats are, of course, not completely messed up. Well, that'd be redone. That's obvious. All right, that's it.